right, so we just picked up this 10 blade reel for the backyard putting green. I really want to try it on the bluegrass, but I'm not quite sure if that's ready to be cut yet. Also, the backyard putting green, we overseeded that last weekend, so that's just starting to germinate now. Now, as a general rule of thumb, you usually want to wait two to three weeks before you take a heavy mower on your overseeded grass. One way to check and make sure that it's ready is by just tugging on the grass to see if the roots have established. So today we're going to go check out the bluegrass that we overseeded two weeks ago and see if that's ready for a cut. Okay, so it's been two weeks since we overseeded the Kentucky bluegrass. And right here I completely redid this area. It's about a one foot by one foot area. It took about a week for the grass to start popping up through the peat moss. And now two weeks later it's getting nice and thick in here. And you can tell it's getting nice solid root growth already. Now it's been really hot here the last couple of weeks and I've been watering the hell out of this. I've had to water it three times a day, 10 minutes a piece. It's been in the upper 80s, low 90s every day and we've got one rain shower and that was it. Otherwise the sun's been out beating on this. Right now it's looking pretty good. It's nice and green and the neighbor's yards are starting to burn up. As you can see behind me over here, my neighbor Tom, his is burning up a little bit. It's definitely going dormant. Right now, this is the longest it's ever been. I've been keeping it about three quarters inch all season long with the Swordman, but today I think we're gonna give it a shot with the rotary and we're gonna try to pick up some of the straw that's still sitting on the grass. Okay, we just finished. It's like 90 degrees out and I'm sweating bullets here. It's hard pushing that mower up and down this lawn. Unfortunately, we didn't get very much of that easy straw up. I mean, that stuff has that glue in it. It really sticks to the grass. So it's good if you're gonna use it and you're expecting rain, but it's not so good if you wanna get it out of your yard. So hopefully some of this easy straw will go away and then we can get out the swordman and start cutting this back down to a half an inch. Okay, so quick update on the backyard putting green. Last weekend we did some leveling work and we also overseeded it. It's starting to come in pretty good right now. I'm thinking maybe in a couple weeks I'm gonna be able to start cutting it at two tenths of an inch and that will give it a nice roll. But we'll have a video about that coming out next time. And I just wanna thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.